their name liveth forevermore. Take a look. Where am I today? Take a look. Your guess is as good as mine. Today I'm rather in a place called Nairobi in Kenya. Nairobi is the capital city of Kenya and the largest commercial center in East and Central Africa. If you take a close look, you'll realize that today, during my walks, I've in a place, rather a strange place, because what you're seeing, they are all graveyards. These are the graves of the fallen heroes. The graves of the soldiers who took part in the Second World War, that is 1939 to 1945. These are fallen soldiers, fallen heroes, who fought for the British Army. These soldiers that you are seeing here, because a soldier never die, they are alive. They are not from one geographical region or from one tribe or from one continent. These soldiers are from different continents who took part in the Second World War. But why is this cemetery located in Nairobi? Why? You will realize that Nairobi was one of the major battlefields of the Second World War. The war took place also in Nairobi because as you can see this one this is a forested area on the other end where my camera is pointing is a structure initially that structure was not there it used to be a hospital for the wounded soldiers as you all know war results in injury pain and also loss not only of lives but also property sad these are our heroes back to the location the hospital was located there to help in treatment of the injured soldiers during the second world war but because not all could sustain the injuries others faced their demise around and henceforth this was chosen as the best place to locate the cemetery as you can see the cemetery hosts different people from different nationalities. Take a close look. All these are names of our fallen heroes. 1939 to 1945. What is inscripted here? The words go this way. The column in this enclosure bear the names of 2,400 men and women of many races united in service to the British crown, who gave their lives in Italian Somaliland, Southern Ethiopia, Kenya and Madagascar, but to whom the fortune of war denied a known and honored a grave. Take a close look. It is such a beautiful manicured garden that you can confuse it with a five-star hotel well maintained by the commonwealth respect to the fallen heroes unlike the other cemeteries and graveyards which have been marred by superstitions and ill-fated motives or myths this graveyard is quite a silent place a place where you can come have a look and relax your mind it's a, you'll find that it's a, such a friendly place where you are likely to interact with people of different nationalities the guards are well trained the place is beautiful i assure you uh, if you're planning to travel to nairobi then nairobi war cemetery should be one of your place of choice to visit. Take a look. What such, such a beautiful garden. Such a beautiful environment. Such a beautiful place to be. Despite it being a cemetery where fallen heroes are laid to rest. 
it's a beautiful place to visit to cultivate more knowledge and history let's have a look on of one of our heroes this one is called J. Willis, Royal Army Service Corps, 17 June 1941. You can see how beautiful it is. I'm still at the cemetery. Don't confuse this with a five star hotel. This is still at the cemetery. Have a close look. Here, there, on the other end, that is the entrance. You can see more guests are coming in. It's such a very, very beautiful place with the different tree species, uh, both the traditional and indigenous trees. <laughs> 